Good morning everyone. Um, it's been a couple of weeks since I did a live. Life got in the way. Uh, apologies for not coming on sooner. Um, we didn't, uh, carrying on with the theme of, of the lines that we're looking at, I didn't get to do um, Gua Sha for the 11 lines last week. So we're going to look at that today and we're also going to look at some Gua Sha techniques for the cheeks. Um, before you get started, um, if you uh, are not live with me now um, or uh, watching the replay, make sure you do a warm up. There is a little warm up video for Gua Sha in the guides section under lives. Um, so do a little Gua Sha warm up or a little bit of face yoga just to warm up your face. Um, and then we can get started on the actual um, Gua Sha exercises themselves. So let's start with the 11 lines as we missed that one out last week. I'm going to start with a Gua Sha stone. I'm using Jade today. And you're just going to support the skin at the centre of the forehead. And then you're just going to sweep upwards over the, the procerus muscle. About eight times. And then you can go supporting the skin the other way. Just little sweeps sideways just massaging out those lines and then if you've got a precision tool you can really get in to this area these are the areas that this little tool is designed for so same thing just working upwards but you can do smaller little flicks that really stimulate the circulation in the area and then just out giving little flicks to that muscle taking out the tension massaging over the lines just really giving them a good little workout and then just to smooth down very gently up to the hairline So that's your glabella lines. Now we're going to look at the cheeks. So just to warm the cheeks up, taking your curved side of the gua sha into the side of the mouth and the nose, supporting the skin and just very gently at a 45 degree angle, about six times, just smooth over the cheek. Taking that to the other side. So the three exercises I'm going to show you today are all about lifting. We want to lift those cheeks. So the first one, taking your curved side of the gua sha, I'm going to place that at the jawline, and then we're literally going to sweep up to under the bone here, lifting the cheek, working along to the ear. So starting at the mouth and then moving out for about 20 seconds I'd say each side just getting a real nice lift in that cheek area around the jaw and then swapping to the other side and just repeating that Don't be alarmed if you see the redness, that's what we want to uh, happen. That's the sha part of gua sha. So gua is to scrape and sha is redness. So if you're getting that sort of red redness, that's what we're trying to achieve. What you don't want to do is press too hard and start bruising yourself. So it's just a very nice, gentle movement. The next one we're going to do the cheek sweep so taking again the curved side we're going to start at the side of our nose and then we are going to sweep and lift under that bone to the temple and give yourself a little wiggle so starting at the side of the nose cutting under and wiggle and we're just going to do that six times so this is three four 
five and six and then doing that the other side one two three four five six sorry if anybody's watching and I've not acknowledged you I, I can't see whether anybody is watching um, it is a strange time of day on a Friday but if you are here just pop in the comments say hi um, and if you're watching on replay hashtag replay so that I can acknowledge um, that you were actually here that'd be great uh, last one we're going to do a cheek lift so taking the groove area of your gua sha place that into the side of the nose you're going to support the skin and we're going to sweep out to the temple give it a little wiggle hi friend nice to see you good morning um, and we are just going to do this six times and then going in the other direction so this way if you're using your gua sha in this direction is relaxing the muscle to lift to give it a lift we'll do it the other way again taking the groove but you start at the side of the nose supporting the skin to the temple and then you sweep out in that direction so it's a very similar move but one is kind of de-stressing the muscle the other is lifting the muscle so both nice to do I like to do them as I've done it now so um, de-stressing the muscle to start off with taking out any tension and then working in the opposite direction to just give that lovely lift And there we are, exercises for the cheeks. I'm just going to cool you down. So using the inside of your uh, gua sha, just take into the cheeks and at a 10 degree. So almost flat to the skin. Feeling the coolness of the gua sha. Just cooling the cheek area down. Just three times one side. Three times the other. And then just do the eye press, so holding your gua sha over the eyes, just feeling the coolness. Taking that to the other side. And relax, nice deep breath in. And out. So I'm off to work now, I've got to go and get myself um, uniformed up to go and have a lovely day in retail. Um, but I just wanted to pop on, I haven't been on for a while. Um, I've actually got a couple of days off work, so I've got six days off now, which I'm really looking forward to. And um, the back end of my six days, I'm actually going to a spa. So I am planning to do a live from the spa, um, if... if um, if I get a chance to but I'll, I'll definitely show you where where I'm at um, but I'm really excited um, to go to a spa I've not been to a spa in um, well years so um, uh, I'm really really looking forward to just chilling out in a sauna to be perfectly honest um, and pulling some face yoga exercises while I'm in the warm so that would be really good fun anyway if you're here with me Fran thank you so much for being here with me if anybody else is here with me thank you very much um, I look forward to sharing with you all very soon um, have a wonderful Friday and um, take care see you soon bye for now